Why hello there! Welcome back to the channel. I'm really glad to have returned yesterday. But a week before yesterday, I made a video talking about why I needed a small break. And in that video, I mentioned one good thing that happened, although it didn't feel like it. When it actually happened. I mentioned a toxic friend who attempted to force me to tell him my whole entire situation. And because of that, it gave me the idea to create this video. How I deal with toxic people who aren't worth my time. So the thing I never explained in that video was everything that was said, and I'm not going to mention everything because it's a fairly long chat that happened, and I'm sure not everyone wants to sit around and listen to all that, but he made it out to be like I was the toxic one, I was awful, and I don't take responsibility, and this and that, blah blah blah. When in reality, I wasn't being toxic at all. I was simply defending myself. I was in a dark place and was downgrading myself because I realized how much of a prick I was being to everyone. Family, friends, girlfriend, literally everyone. But even though I wasn't being a prick to this guy, I totally should have been. I'm 19 years old for fuck's sake and this dude was 16 acting like he knew all and I didn't know anything. He even said he tells me everything so I should tell him everything as well. First of all, that's not cool. I never told him to tell me everything. He did that on his own. I never forced him to speak out of his own personal situations. What goes on in his life is none of my business and no matter what he says, I'm just speaking facts here. And I wanted to talk about my problems, but all I could tell him was I didn't know how to explain things properly. So he went off on me and said he didn't need this toxic friendship anymore. He wasn't gonna deal with it, blah blah bullshit pretty much. And anyone who's seen our conversation agreed I deserved an apology for how I was treated, especially with the mindset that I was in. But no. He thinks he's better than everyone else and has a god complex like ego. It makes it out to be like anything that has to do with him is more important than anything else. And if he went through it and he considers it stressful that unlike you or I, we've never experienced real stress like he has. Which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard out of his mouth. And that's truly saying something with a lot of the garbage I've heard from him. And the really funny part, if you have any evidence you are in the right, he will try to force this idea on others that no matter what, he's right and anyone else is wrong. I remember three months ago when it came to this individual, I actually went to his YouTube channel and tried to help him out and actually give him some good feedback on music he created. And I'll admit, he has gotten better, music-wise at least. Personality-wise, he still lacks a lot of respect for others. And if you get on his bad side, you are automatically an idiot slash loser who is toxic and isn't worth the time. And a week ago, when our argument happened, I was hurt because it hit me out of nowhere. I hadn't done anything wrong yet. I was being treated like trash because he wanted to make a situation I was going through all about him. If anyone has a friend like that, you should get rid of that friend because they will tear you down. They will take advantage of you mentally and always make it out to be like they are superior compared to you no matter what you or anyone else says. But not even 24 hours later, thanks to the support I got from my friends, I realized I wasn't in the wrong. I was being respectful and only defended myself. He was in the wrong for trying to take advantage of my hard times to force him into it. And try to make it all about him. It's truly pathetic when people can't support you, so they do their best to ruin you. Now, one thing is for sure, I don't hate this guy. Does he make stupid decisions? Yes. Is he disrespectful? Yes. Is he toxic? Very much so. But he's still a human being. And we've been friends and enemies back and forth in the past. And every time we've fallen out, a lot of people who witnessed it or knew about it clearly knew he got the argument and friendship destruction started. But even though I've forgiven others for toxic behavior in the past and try to make things right, some people still remain toxic, like the person I'm talking about. And after what happened, I no longer plan to let that person back in my life. Clearly, he isn't worth it. Besides, he has trouble of his own to deal with. I'll let him suffer through it. Himself. The actions he commits will have consequences. And this action he committed on tearing apart our friendship finally put the nail in the coffin and burnt the bridge that's been getting weaker and weaker for over three to four years. Not only that, he's the kind of person who likes to spam text on social media. And if you don't respond either because you are busy or you know, you have a life, you are automatically ignoring him in his eyes. And that is petty on its own. So what do I recommend when it comes to toxic friends who try to tear you down? Let go of them. They are only going to hurt you worse and worse. And you'll either get stronger or weaker. Now, if you are stronger, clearly this video has no effect on you. Because you knew what to do from the start and I praise you for that. 
but if you got weaker, you became a puppet on a string that this person will constantly take advantage of, so let go of the toxicity and move on to others who actually give a fuck about you as a human being. Now, if they change and you feel like they've actually changed, feel free to give them a chance. I feel like everyone deserves an opportunity to prove themselves right and a chance to showcase they've adapted into a better person. But if they haven't, just let go and move on. You need to do what's best for you, and not let anyone hurt nor control you. And that is just how it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.